I'm Sarah Colvin here on the Village Green in downtown Hyannis with uh, this week's, or for the, for the next two weeks, the artist in residence, Kate DeCicio. Kate, uh, welcome, and, and it's, it's been really kind of cool to see you doing this work. Thank you. It's really fun to be here. So tell me a little bit about, um, obviously behind us is a bench that uh, previously just looked like a regular uh, regular park bench, and now it's you're in the midst of decorating it, um, and I'm, I understand you're going to be kind of doing this all around the village of Hyannis. Yeah, so there's an element of the project that's really about engaging spaces that might not otherwise be noticed, um, and so always a part of my work is kind of using imagery of nature and architecture and textiles to create this element of play um, on and off plane, so from the floor up the wall, jumped onto a telephone pole, over a bench. So this is an example of that. Exactly, and something that people will be able to kind of follow as they walk uh, around downtown. Talk to me a little bit about being a street artist. I understand you've worked across the country. Mm -hmm. So um, for me, there's a lot of things that are really fun about the street. One is a, in a completely um, non-exclusive space, so everyone has access to the street. Um, but also that there's so many like little nooks and corners of street spaces that aren't attended to when they're just like corners where there's trash or where dirt's collecting. Um, and so as a street artist, um, you can really think about how to put art in interesting places and combine, you know, the elements of beauty and mischief. So that then when people come after, they too, like you said, kind of feel like they're in this sort of like treasure hunt of like the person who came before them. Absolutely. And, and certainly, um, you know, this is definitely very noticeable out here. I want to talk a little bit about community involvement, because mm -hmm. while you're here um, in, in Barnstable, in Hyannis, doing this work, you really want to involve the community in the project. And talk to me a little bit about, first of all, why that's important, and second of all, how you're going to accomplish that. Yeah. So one of the other things that's kind of like a major part of my work um, is thinking about how to tell community narratives through the eyes of the people who live in the space, wherever it is that I'm painting. So these two weeks I'm here in Hyannis, so it's really fun to sit down and talk with people about, um, you know, being a tourist in their own town and who they really value for creating the experience that they think kind of like embodies the Cape Cod spirit or the Hyannis spirit. So it's been really fun talking to people about, you know, where do you go in September when everyone leaves and you get to go with your friends to the special place that you love or where are the places that you want to make sure to bring your company or, you know, who are the people that you feel just kind of like, you know, breathe Cape Cod and then make stuff that's just so inspirational for the rest of us. Um, and so while I'm here, I'll be making portraits of some of our most fabulous locals. Great, and that's yeah. going to happen at Asselton Park. So I wanted to talk a little bit more about that. And that's going to be kind of a, a mural that's going to be up there at Asselton Park. Yeah, so I'll be doing four portraits um, that will then kind of serve as the backdrop to the stage that's at Asselton Park. Yeah. Wonderful. We're really looking forward to seeing that. I understand, uh, too, while you're at the Geyer Barn, there's going to be a, uh, a free talk on June 25th and yep. open to all anyone who's curious about learning about your art. Yeah. So on the 25th, I'll be talking about um, not just the Hyannis Project, but also about um, community work and my work like as a whole, kind of what it's like to be a muralist who really sort of, you know, embeds themselves in a community and has the chance to talk to people about their stories. And then um, on the weekend, on the 27th, 28th, I'll be doing a two-day workshop. So I am really inviting people to come and I'll teach stencil and you'll make uh, two panels that will actually go on the guy on the um, the barn in Azelton Park so they'll kind of like hug the portrait so I definitely want there to be a community element um, and it's really fun to you don't have to be like a pro or someone who has any kind of like background experience um, I really invite people who have no prior knowledge but have seen the work and thought like oh that looks kind of fun I'd really love to just kind of like learn how that happens Great. And, and let's talk a little bit about your process, because I see, you know, when I came in to work this morning, the bench was just purple. And now it's got purple, it's got blue, it, it's got beautiful stencils on it. And it looks like you're working primarily with stencils and spray paint. Yeah. So I cut all of my own stencils. Like I said, um, I get inspiration from textiles, from nature, from architecture. And I just create lots of small uh, shapes. So one. So I just create small, simple shapes, um, and then I use spray paint, and I just stack them on top of each other to create these kind of winding patterns. Great. And how do you know when it's done? Do you have an idea, like when you started this bench, do you have an idea of what you wanted to look like, or is it just kind of something that, that develops over time? Yeah. Well, before I came here, I had to choose the colors that I was going to work with because I had to bring all the paint. So I kind of like already have my palette and I've been thinking a lot about sort of like forms that are both inspired by nature and the sea. So you'll see like a lot of round forms and shell-ish kinds of things. Um, 
But as far as like being done, you know, it's a lot of just like up and close work, step back and look at it, squint a little bit. So there's not really rules of being done. Um, but um, but I think, you know, it's about a balance of contrast and, you know, areas where there's tons of shapes and areas where there's not so many and, you know, how it kind of like crawls and, yeah. Great. Well, Kate, welcome and, and we'll let you get back to work. But thank you so much for talking with us and we look forward to uh, seeing your pieces all around downtown Hyannis. <laughs>